Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create some awesome looking Christmassy titles for whatever project you're working on. Doesn't even have to be Christmassy, I just thought they looked cool. And it's Christmas, so... So if you want to create this effect inside of HitFilm Express, it will require the 3D Generate pack and the VFX Lighting pack. That is for the Extrusion effect and the Auto Volumetrics effect. So, without further ado, let's begin. First thing that you're going to want to do is create a new composite shot. You can name this whatever you want, I'm just going to call it Titles. I'm also going to set the duration to 4 seconds, but you can change it to whatever you like. So then hit OK. So now we're in our brand new composite shot, and I'm just going to create a new plane layer. I want this plane layer to be black, and I'm going to call this Plane01. Then hit OK. That's now created a black plane. It's very exciting. Now, search in the Effects tab for Radial Gradient. Drag and drop this effect onto your new black plane. So now it's created a floating white gradient. And you want to open the center controls and change its Y position to make it at the bottom of the screen. Now use the on screen or in the controls panel uh, controls to adjust the expansion of the outer radius. Now in the inner radius and outer radius controls I want to change the colors to change the white to being a bright red and changing the color of the outer radius to being a darker red. This has now created the background. You can change these colours to whatever you'd like, you can also play around with any of these settings and create whatever kind of effect you want. So, now I've got my background all sorted, I'm going to create a new uh, text layer. I'm now going to type Christmas titles. The font that I'm using is Monterey BT and I've got it set to a scale of 255. I've also got the colour being white, but you can change any of these things to create whatever look you're going for. As you can see, the text isn't actually centralized in the middle of the screen. So what I'm going to do is go to the Layout tab and just align it to the vertical middle. And as you can see, that's now aligned it correctly. Now I'm going to open the geometries and add an extrude. I only want this to extrude off of the, off of the back face, so I'm going to change the face from front and back to back. I'm also going to checkbox internal edges. Now that looks nice. Now I'm going to create a new light. And this will ask if you want to create a camera, so just hit yes. This has now created some really nice dramatic lighting. I'm just going to move this to flatten it out a bit, just to cast a bit more shadow on the extrusion. I'm also going to change the text layer to being a 3D plane. Now move two frames in, and just move your text layer just off of the camera. and then start keyframing for position. Then I'm going to move 12 frames ahead and I'm just going to set the Z position back to 0. And now this has animated the text flying in from behind the camera back to the start. So now I'm going to create that cool shimmery light uh, that passes over the title after it lands on the ground. So I'm going to go up to the Effects tab and search for Auto Volumetrics and drag and drop this onto the text layer. Now as you can see it's creating some amazing looking rays of light emit from the title. So now in Light Shafts I'm going to set the Light Fall Off to 0.5. This will just shorten the rays and in Light Position I'm just going to use the X and Y position to position it behind the C of Christmas, or the first letter of your title. Then on this frame that is when the text lands, I'm going to start keyframing on X and Y position and light fall off. I'm actually going to set the light fall off back down to zero. Then I'm going to move ahead eight frames and change the light fall off from zero to 0 0.5. Head move ahead again by 21 frames 
and then just set the light fall off down to zero. Then I'm going to move back by 8 frames and set this back to 0 0.5. That has now created a fading in and fading out of these light shafts. Then for the light position, I'm just going to move the XY point on the timeline. As you can see here, it was here and now I've just moved it into the middle. So that then it starts moving halfway through and then I'm also just going to adjust this so it goes behind the S halfway through the fading out. You can adjust this as much as you'd like and I'm also going to set these keyframes to smooth. Okay, so now that you have created the cool looking shimmer uh, as the text lands that just makes the text stand out and also forces the viewer to read it. Now what you want to do is create a new grade layer and then you can throw on any effects that you'd like to just further colour grade this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a like and subscribe uh, for more content. See you next time. Goodbye.